Hello everyone! Welcome or welcome back here on my channel. This is me once again, Teacher Jinjin, your virtual teacher here on YouTube. Kung bago ka pa lang sa channel na ito, gumagawa ako ng mga Tagalog tutorial videos mula grade 7 hanggang grade 11. Kung interesado ka, please like, subscribe, at i-click mo na rin ang notification bell para ma-notify ka kapag may bago akong upload na video. Kung gusto mong mag-advance learning mula first quarter hanggang fourth quarter, kompleto na yung topics natin, feel free to visit our playlist. Okay, let's get it started! Magandang araw mga minamahal kong grade 7 learners! Sa video na ito ay itutuloy natin ang inyong learning task number 2 letter B about subtraction of polynomials. Kung hindi nyo pa napanood yung addition of polynomials, i-click nyo na lang dito sa card or hanapin nyo na lang sa playlist natin para mapanood ninyo at para malaman ninyo kung paano nga ba mag-add ng polynomials. Okay? Disclaimer lang mga anak, papalitan ko yung mga ibang given upang sa ganun ay subukan ninyong isolve yung mga nasa modules ninyo kasi mas magandang mag-solve kapag kayo mismo yung magsosolve. Alright? Bago natin simulan ay i-review lang natin yung basic rule in subtraction. Ang basic rule sa subtraction of polynomials, ang una ninyong tatandaan ay keep, change, change. Ibig sabihin, ikip nyo ito, then palitan ninyo yung operation, then change the subtrahend, or i-distribute ninyo yung negative dito sa loob ng subtrahend. Then, proceed to addition rule. So, sa addition rule, pag magkapareho ng sign ulit, i-add ninyo, then copy their sign. Pag magkaiba, positive at negative, negative at positive, i-subtract ninyo, then, copy the sign of the greater number. Okay? So, keep change, change, then addition rule. Diba, meron tayong dalawang method to subtract polynomials. We can use vertical method or pwede rin yung combining similar terms. So, unahin muna natin yung vertical method. Una, ay keep change, change muna tayo. So, that is 5x raised to 3 minus 7x raised to 2 plus 3x minus 4. So, ikip lang muna natin yan. And then, palitan natin yung operation ng plus, and then, change the sign of the subtrahend. So, magiging negative 8x cubed, and to naman, magiging negative 2x squared, ito naman, magiging negative 3x, tapos ito, magiging positive 7. Nasundan ninyo? Ito, magiging negative, magiging negative, negative, positive. Alright? Then, proceed to addition rule. Pagtapat-tapatin natin yung mga magkakapareho ng terms. So, 5x raised to 3 minus 7x squared plus 3x minus 4. So, itapat natin si negative 8x cubed sa 5x cubed. And then, negative 2x squared naman dito naman. Tapos, Yung negative 3x, dito naman natin siya itatapat. And then, positive 7. Okay? Then, addition rule na tayo. Ito yung gagamitin nating rule. 5 plus negative 8, magkaiba ng sign. So, isubtract yung absolute value. Kapag nahirapan kayo sa 5 minus 8, pwede rin namang 8 minus 5 para mabilis. So, that would be equal to 3. And then, ang sign ng mas malaking number ay negative. Kaya, negative. 3, copy the variable that is x raised to 3. Kasundan. And then, negative 7 plus negative 2, pag magkapareho, i-add ninyo, then copy their sign. So, 7 plus 2 is equal to 9, copy their sign, negative, kaya negative 9, x raised to 2. Nasusundan nyo na. Then, positive 3 minus 3, magkaiba ng sign, so 3 minus 3 equals 0, or kahit wag nyo nang ilagay kasi 0 na yan. Next is negative 4 plus 7, magkawaiba ng sign. So, subtract 7 minus 4 is equal to 3. Copy the sign of the greater number, positive, kaya positive 3. So, the final answer is negative 3x raised to 3 minus 9x squared plus 3. Alright? Dito naman sa number 7, dito ka muna ilagay ha. 
by using grouping similar terms, pagsamasamahin natin yung mga magkakapareho ng terms. Siyempre, keep change, change muna tayo. Kopyahin nyo lang muna ito, 2x squared y minus 5xy plus 3y squared. Kasi ikikip natin ito, change natin yung operation sa addition, then i-change natin ito. Magiging negative 7xy, ito naman magiging positive 6y squared, at ito naman magiging negative 5x squared y. Okay na, nasundan nyo na. So, addition rule na tayo. Pagsamahin natin yung mga magkakapareho ng term. May kapareho ba yung x squared y na term? Ito. x squared y. So, yan yung igugroup natin. So, 2x squared y plus negative 5x squared y. Next, meron bang kapareho yung 3y squared? Ito kapareho niya. So, pagsamahin natin yan sa iisang parenthesis. 3y squared plus 6y squared. Okay. Next is, yung xy may kapareho ba? Ito. Plus negative 5xy plus negative 7xy. Addition rule. 2 plus negative 5 magkaiba ng sign. So, isubtract yung absolute value. 5 minus 2 equals 3. Copy the sign of the greater number. Mas malaki si 5, kaya ang sign niya is negative. Then, copy the variable. x squared y. Plus, ito naman, 3 plus 6 equals 9. Copy the variable. Plus, negative 5 plus negative 7. Magkapareho ng sign, so ang gagawin ninyo i-add. 5 plus 7 equals 12. Then copy their sign that is negative, kaya negative 12. Pwede nyo nang tanggalin yung plus dito kasi negative yung sign nito. Negative xy. So this is now the final answer. Negative 3x squared y plus 9y squared minus 12xy. Okay? Pwede nyo namang i-arrange, mahuli yung iisang variable. Pwede yung negative 3x squared y. Isunod ninyo yung negative 12xy. Tapos, isunod ninyo yung positive 9y squared. So, pwede rin ito. Pero, the same pa rin naman silang tama. Okay? Number 8, disclaimer lang ha. Pinapalitan ko yung mga given dito. Okay? So, ang una natin gagawin, keep muna natin yung 11x raised to 5 minus 5x raised to 3 plus 9x squared. Then, change natin ito, magiging plus. Then, change natin yung mga signs ng polynomial sa second na polynomial. So, magiging negative 6x raised to 3. Ito naman magiging positive 7x raised to 5. At ito naman magiging negative 4x squared. Then, addition rule na tayo. Ang gagamitin kong method ay vertical method. So, pagtatapatin ko yung 11x raised to 5 sa 7x raised to 5. Next is yung negative 5x cubed. Tatapat ko kay negative 6x raised to 3. Then, positive 9x squared. Itatapat ko si negative 4x squared. Then, double check ninyo kung meron kayong hindi na isulat. Kasi maaaring walang katapat yung iba. Then, addition rule. 11 plus 7. So, positive sila. I-add natin. That is 18. Then, copy their variable x raised to 5. Negative 5 plus negative 6. Pag magkapareho, i-add natin. Then, copy the sign. So, 5 plus 6 equals 11. Copy the sign that is negative. And then, kopyahin yung variable na x raised to 3. 9 plus negative 4 magkaiba. So, isubtract ninyo yung absolute value. 9 minus 4 equals positive 5. Copy the sign of the greater number. Mas malaki si 9. Kaya positive 5x squared. So, this is now the final answer. Okay? Number 9. Subtract 4x cubed minus 7x minus 10 from 6x squared minus 4x plus 10. 
So, meron tayong word dito na from. Ibig sabihin, mauna itong 6x squared minus 4x plus 10. So, that would be 6x raised to 2 minus 4x plus 10 muna. Subtract natin yung 4x cubed minus 7x minus 10. Okay? And then, keep change change. Keep change change. So, magiging 6x raised to 2 minus 4x plus 10. Change natin yung operation sa addition. Change natin itong mga terms. Negative 4x cubed plus 7x plus 10. Using vertical method, that is negative 6x squared minus 4x plus 10. Then, itapat natin yung nandito. Walang katapat ito, kaya ilalagay ko dito sa unahan. Negative 4x raised to 3. Then, 7x ang katapat niya ay yung negative 4. Then, positive 10. So, addition rule tayo. Bring down negative 4x cubed kasi wala siyang kasama. Bring down negative 4 plus positive 7. Magkaiba sila ng sign. So, isubtract ninyo. 7 minus 4 is equal to 3. Then, copy the sign of the greater number that is positive. Kaya, positive 3x. 10 plus 10 is equal to positive 20. The final answer is negative 4x cubed minus 6x squared plus 3x plus 20. Lastly, number 10 na. So, malapit na tayong matapos. Keep, change, change. So, i-keep muna natin yung 1.5y raised to 3 plus 4.8y squared plus 12. Then, change natin yung operation. Magiging addition. So, ito magiging negative y cubed. Ito naman magiging positive 1.7y squared. Ito naman magiging negative 2y. You can use vertical method or any method. So, dahil may mga decimal point, vertical na lang ang gagamitin ko. That is 1.5y raised to 3 plus 4.8y squared plus 12. Then, itatapat natin yung mga kapareho nila dito sa subtrahend. So, meron tayong negative y cube plus 1.7 y squared naman 0.7 y squared and then negative 2 y wala siyang katapat so lalagay ko na lang dito or pwede rin namang mauna yung negative 2 y kasi siya yung may variable and then yung 12 ay dito okay and then I-add na natin. Addition rule na ang gagamitin natin. So, as you can see, ito ay negative y cube. At kapag wala kayong nakikitang numerical coefficient ng isang variable, automatically, ang terms without numerical coefficient written beside the variable, understood na ang kanyang numerical coefficient ay 1. So, lahat ng nakikita ninyo, for example, y, x, a, b, c, or x, y, ang numerical coefficient niyan, merong invisible na 1, 1, 1, 1. Okay? So, meron tayong invisible na 1 dyan. So, 1.5 minus 1 is equal to 0 0.5. Then, copy the variable, y raised to 3. Ito naman, 4.8 plus 1.7. 8 plus 7 is equal to 15. 15, carry 1, 1 plus 4 equals 5, plus 1 equals 6, then kopyahin yung decimal point. So, pareho silang positive kaya addition. Ito naman, wala siyang kasama, kaya i-bring down nyo na lang. Then, wala din kasama to. So, bring down 12. The final answer is 0.5y cubed plus 6.5, uh, may y squared pala dito, y squared minus 2y plus 12. Pag-aralan ninyong mabuti at huwag kayong magdepende sa answer key. Okay? Kung gusto ninyong panoorin yung mga susunod na learning task or discussion, i-click nyo na lang sa end screen or hanapin nyo na lang sa playlist natin. Kompleto lahat yon. Kung nakatulong ito sa inyo, please do like this video at mag-comment na rin kayo sa baba. 
Once again, stay home, stay safe, stay healthy, at mag-aral lang mabuti. God bless you all and goodbye!